Okay, so I'd like to pass this opportunity so that we can get into further theory on shit that I pretend to know about, but I don't to uh, say these few things. Now, I might have given people a misinterpretation that I said that. Cities don't work in stateless societies. However, the city of Harapa, for the most part, was stateless. It did have elements of churches, which are hierarchical, and corporations. But these are more regular organized religions. They're not church esque. And for the states, there was, weren't states, but there were kings and monarchs and people who owned the territories. But it's not the same thing. When you deal with states, you deal with a larger, more abstract concept. And a much more hierarchical concept. Sure, there's this general feeling that there's a upside down pizza, but it's not the same thing as an actual hierarchy. Or any of these respective structures like states, corporations, or churches. But there's a reason why I said that. There should be that the states that do remain are gonna have to be cities. Well, it's because this should usually starts from cities. The origin of states are from cities, specific kinds of cities that are of a vast surplus of food or market growth. Yet it's not the most desirable market growth. It's not something that sells something that's naturally market useful or market utility. And cities in general are going to be the last things that end up stateless. So you can assume that if anti statism becomes popular in implications, that the last things that become stateless are big cities, London, Paris, New York. But just like any ideology, just like any implication to any ideology, the ones that remain always do. There's always going to be a something, a state or socialism, communism. Ideologies don't die at once. There's always a small cult or group or fringe that applies these archaic terms or methods in not just into their methodology but into their practices and it's this philosophical zombie warfare you're dealing with stuff that's supposed to be dead but it's undead so how do you deal with shit like this? Well, it's mostly going to be cities because those are the last things to go and first things to come in terms of states and all these other hierarchical relationships. So you want to get rid of that first. I know one of my friends actually asked me in their blog TV, well, he didn't ask me, but he asked people in general, what's wrong with a hierarchy? And this person's an anarchist. Of course, the obvious answer is because that's a question that you generally want answered because you need to know why. Well, hierarchies do a good job of centralization and taking shit from the bottom up to the top bottom. Now, hierarchies don't form in society this way. Hierarchies shouldn't form in society. It's okay for computers to have a hierarchy. It's okay for computers to function around these things that are connecting to servers which are connecting to each other. It's this thing that's okay for computers, but it's not for people because people aren't ants. People aren't these 
living things that are unaccustomed to this kind of shit. That aren't, that aren't accustomed, that aren't innately designed to involve themselves in this manner. They're not bees. They're not all these other animals. They're like most common animals or fleets of birds and cold blood animals that involve themselves non hierarchically. That's all I gotta say. I don't wanna bore all of you. This is Leon Red and you know the rest.